short video, we're gonna give you beginners a little idea about how to use the method feeder, what it's all about, and how the method itself works. Okay then, so when it comes to the method feeder, a lot of different baits can be used when you're fishing with a method feeder. You can use ground baits, okay, of all different types, you know, you can use crushed down pellet based ground baits, uh, very fine ground baits, and you can also use pellet on the method feeder. Now today, I've chose pellet, and I'm using uh, the Miracle Baits micro pellets today, in the, uh, the two millimeter size. So that's a full bag of Miracle Baits micros, I've tipped them into my, my mixing bowl here, okay? And I've added some water. Now, here's the key thing that's really helpful when you're fishing the method feeder with pellet. Okay, this little device here, or not a device, I should say substance, sticky pellet mix. Now, sticky pellet mix gives you easy instructions on the back of that, uh, the tub, to, to tell you how much water you need to add to your pellets, okay, so they stick firmly and well to the feeder. You come, it comes with a little spoon like this, a little spatula, and you need, well, with one bag of Andy Finn Perfect pellets, okay, that's Andy Finley's brand, okay, but with any bag really, okay, they're just re referring to size there, okay, 10 spoonfuls of water with these little spoons. So you add your 10 in, okay, and you give your bag of pellets a stir, right now once you've done that this is where the sticky pellet comes in you then add one spatula one spatula of sticky pellet mix and then you mix it all together and leave 30 minutes at the end of that 30 minutes you'll have damp pellets that stick when they're squoze together into a nice firm ball or shape as we're using in the method feeder so we've got the Preston method mold and as I'll demonstrate in a minute, we'll go through and once I reel my method in, I'll show you how we load the feeder, okay? And what I mean by a great mix that the pellets stick after using the sticky pellets, okay? So I've got a superb mix now that's staying on the feeder till that feeder hits the bottom. But we'll talk more about behind the feeder and what happens under the water with a method feeder later in the video. So for now, recap. The baits, micro pellets on the feeder, sticky pellet added to the mix so they bind well together. Let's get the method out and I'll show you how we load it. Right then, the method feeder. How do we load the method feeder to get it into the water with perfect presentation? Here's a Preston method feeder, the device itself. It runs freely on the line, okay? The, the line passes straight through the middle of the feeder, which is why it's got the name, the inline method feeder. And then you bring that to a small little bead, and we'll take that bead apart now and show you just what's on the inside of that bead, okay? So you have a little cap for the bead that also runs on the line, and then that bead comes down to a knot that which you tie. So you tie your main line from the reel onto the bead there, and then you put your hook length, which, which is usually a, sh a short four inch hook length when using the method feeder in the little groove provided. It's very easy to do. Uh, it may not seem it on the video, but if you have a method feeder and if you go out and buy a method feeder, you'll soon realize how easy it is to do. Okay, so don't be daunted if you've never used the method feeder before. Let's just put that back together. Okay, so loading the feeder. How does it work then? We get the method mold, which comes with the feeder. When you buy a feeder, you can get feeders separately, obviously. But we get the, uh, the the mold. Okay, it is always wise to put a little bit of water in the mold. So I'll just wet my hands there. Okay, so I'm just rubbing a bit of water inside the mold. Okay, and that stops the pellets sticking to the mold. So when we come out, the pellets are on the feeder and not still stuck in the mold. Okay, so first, the first step of the method feeder. There's the feeder. There's the bait. Hair rigs on to the four, in, four inch hook length. We drop the hook and the bait into the mold, okay? Like so, like you can see there. Next, we take some of the pellets and we fill up the mold, okay? So the mold's nice and full. We wanna put a few more on there and that hook bait is at the bottom of that now, okay? The hook bait is at the bottom of the mold amongst the pellets. The next job is to fold the feeder over the mold, 
So we'll fold the feeder on top, okay? And with two thumbs, we'll tightly push the feeder in and give it a good squeeze, okay? Now behind the Preston Method feeder mold, we have a button, okay? We're gonna push that button, the push button there, which will release the Method into my hand, okay? Push there, a few pushes, and there you have it. There's the Method feeder, ready to cast out. Nice and compact, all the, all the bait is tight onto the feeder, and our hook bait is right in the middle, okay? So let's ca cast this out now and see if we can catch a fish. Not a large fish, but a fish caught on the method feeder, nevertheless. Let's add him to the mixed bag. Well, the wind has really picked up now and it's a little bit difficult to film. However, we'll just finish off on the uh, the method feeder, sort of the introduction and the, the, uh, the sort of the technical side of the method feeder and how it works. We'll just finish off on that sort of chapter in this video by saying what happens when it, when it lands on the bottom. So, the feeder that I showed you earlier, it's full of bait, it lands on the bottom of the lake bed, so there your feeder, you cast out, it lands. Hopefully, your bait will still be on that feeder. Your hook bait will be buried inside, and obviously the feed bait, the pellets, or the ground bait will still be on the feeder. After a couple of seconds on the bottom though, the idea is that that bait on the feeder then breaks down, so you've got a small little pile of bait just around your feeder, okay, and your hook bait's right in the middle. So when those fish come in and start feeding and they start rooting around and stirring up the swim, you know, all that bait is there in a, one confined area with your hook bait straight in the middle. It really is a deadly method and lots of matches have been won and huge weights have been bagged on the method feeder. It's quite an old method now and it did come out a few years ago, but if you are just starting fishing and you'd like to find out a real good method that is guaranteed to catch you fish, then check out the method feeder. It's an absolutely brilliant tactic.